But listen to this. Is this is this a new Christmas classic? It's crazy to think it's just all for one day. But we're here together just for one beautiful Christmas day. I wake up to sounds by well, that's superstar Queen guitarist Brian May joining up with the sensational musical theatre artist. She's got such a lovely voice, hasn't she? Kerry Ellis. To record that, it's called One Beautiful Christmas Day. And Brian's uh, joining us now. Hello, Brian. Good evening. Hey, Richard. Nice to see you. Nice, like the nice to see you, Tom. Um, I, you were saying, actually, I was, re I was reading an interview with you earlier today. You were saying that it has been quite a while in this country since we had... A Christmas classic come along you know we, we all know what they are but they, they're getting a bit kind of you know crinkled around the edges do you think this could be the one the next one yeah I really think so it seems to have a nice kind of warm fuzziness about it which gets to people and it's also very much tailored to the moment because it's about the kind of Christmas we can have this year which will be different and I think you know it can still be special it can still be beautiful and uh, we don't need to be taking any risks we just uh, do what we're comfortable with I'm going to be um playing board games, like pretty, pretty silly games with my kids online on Christmas Day, because I think, you know, I want to have for next Christmas. So that's what the song is, is kind of partly about. It's like, you know, we can do Christmas however we want. It's about giving the time to our loved ones in any way we choose. But about the song, I love it. I didn't write the song. I, I had a hand in, in tailoring the chorus and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but it came from uh, Andy and John, who Kerry works with up in Manchester. And I immediately thought this has got a great feel to it. It's got a, something that just draws you in and makes you feel kind of comfortable, makes you feel good. Yeah, yeah I love it to be a classic, Richard. It's very hard out there. You probably know, you know, people probably think it's easy for me because they know me, but actually I can't get records played on, on Radio 2. You know, <laughs> they just had a meeting uh, today and they didn't put it on their, their, uh, their playlist, you know. So without that, it's very hard to get people to hear it. So I'm grateful to you for playing it. I'm very surprised to hear that. I would have thought that that record and the theme, and the Christmas theme and the contemporary nature of the lyrics, the fact that it's you, the fact that it's, it's, a, it's a very well-known theatre artist, artist, I would have thought that was a shoe in for Radio 2. Do, do, they, do you have any idea why they, they didn't put it on the playlist? I don't know. They, they're very much headed towards playing what everybody's familiar with already, I think. So uh, their playlist is mainly all the old favourites, you know, which obviously we do love, you know, Slade and whatever and Mariah Carey. But I think in this period leading up, it would be nice to let some new blood in and hear some new classics. Yeah, and I do think this is a classic. I feel really proud of it. It gives everybody a good feeling. You, you, you basically describe the, the, the theme of, of the song and you know, what, it's, what it's trying to say, but specifically, what, 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 what are the verses about? Are they about you know, sort of families? That, just describe the, the storytelling in the song, because we only played it, a short clip there. Well, as I say, you know, I didn't write most of the lyrics. Um, uh, Andy Vitolo did, but uh, my take on it is, you know, we've all been in strange places this year. It's, it's been a very odd time. And we've been, in a sense, a long way from home in, in the sense that we're a long way from what's familiar to us. And Christmas, we're all looking for to, to give us some sort of comfort. And um, I think, you know, it, it's about the feeling rather than the actual physical presence. You know, we don't need to get upset about the fact that we can't do the normal things. We can just have a new kind of Christmas and uh, hopefully we'll all be around for the next one if we're careful. Yeah. And I think it'll be important, really. I, I agree completely with your philosophy. It's, I mean, we can get way too wound up about Christmas. I know it's a fabulous time. It's my favourite time of the year. It really is. But it's only mm. one day. It's just one day. And, and circumstances this year are so extreme and, and so unforeseen, you know, nine months ago, that, you know, all right, we just, I agree with you, we just have to take it on the chin. And as you say, provided we're lucky, um, you know, on a personal one-to-one -one level, then this time next year we'll be having a normal Christmas. You know, the vaccine will have kicked in totally. We just have to take it on the chin. And as you say, provided we're lucky, um, you know, on a personal one-to-one -one level, then this time next year we'll be having a normal Christmas. You know, the vaccine will have kicked in totally by then. There's no question well, of that. Things should be good. Level. That's so wound up about Christmas. I know it's a fabulous time. It's my favourite.
be important, really. I I agree completely with your philosophy. It's I mean, we can get way too wound up about Christmas. I know it's a fabulous time. It's my favourite time of the year. It really is. But it's only mm. one day. It's just one day. And and circumstances this year are so extreme and and so unforeseen. You know, nine months ago, that you know, all right, we just I agree with you. We just have to take it on the chin. And as you say, provided we're lucky, um, you know, on a personal one to one level, then this time next year we'll be having a normal Christmas. You know, the vaccine will have kicked in totally by then there's no question well, of that things should be good yeah your take is perfect because actually andy's original lyric was called just one day and that's what it's about it is only just one day and i kind of felt it should be have a little more optimism in that hmm. so contribution was to make it yeah but it's one beautiful christmas day. Still special. oh i think we're just losing you a bit there brian the, the picture's good but the sound isn't can you just uh, say something else no. Yeah, I was... that's good. OK. And we have lip readers on hand. Listen, I, I want to ask you a, a, a probably a slightly cheeky question, a bit, a bit personal, but I don't know how old you are, but I think you and I are pro probably of, of an age. Um, and yeah. I have certainly noticed in the last couple of years, and it's not a big deal, but I've definitely got a slight stiffening up in my finger joints. It's, it's fine. I'm still doing that. I play guitar a bit, obviously nothing like you. And I can still play, but I'm a little bit like slower. How are, you, how are your fingers? Because your fingers are your fortune. Your, your fingers on those fretboards are what you are, who you are. How are yours managing? Yeah, I'm pretty good at the moment. I've been through some difficult times. Yeah, about two tours ago, I used to wake up every morning and they were really, really stiff. And I used to have to put them in hot water to get them going. <laughs> and I'm really worried. But it seemed to be a phase that I went through. And I'm, I'm pretty good now. I have a certain amount of arthritis in lots of my joints, you know, particularly this thumb joint. I don't know if you can see this one. And that's the oh, thing. Oh, yeah. So I, in both hands, I have this um, pain here. But it's it bothers me, but it's not enough to stop me playing. No, but is it is it enough to, to make you maybe modify your riffs a little bit? Are you are you playing things a little bit differently? Are you compensating a bit? No, no. It, it, and especially on stage, you know, adrenaline takes care of it. You can play to any amount of pain. <laughs> if you're sort of, you're hyped up, you, you, you're kind of, you're so excited and you're so in the moment. So you, I, I kind of don't feel it. I went through hell with my legs, <laughs> you know. Knees really gave out on, on the last tour. That, oh no, sorry, the, the tour with Kerry that I did, actually. I, even though I was sitting down most of the time, I was in terrible pain. But for the however long we were actually on stage, I was okay. Because there's so much, and you just get into it, and that's all that matters. It's when you get up to, <laughs> like after you've been sitting down for a while. <laughs> Yeah, old age is a terrible thing, but the alternative is not great. Uh, you couldn't, I couldn't put it better. Uh, I have to say that, that I, I have a, a faint echo of, of that experience, and that's something which, which in my business we call doctor television or doctor radio, and that is if you're going live, it's not the same if you're recording something, but if you're live broadcasting and you're feeling awful, I mean, maybe you're going down with flu or whatever, it's amazing. The red light goes on on the microphone or on the camera, and you feel fine. And you just and you you're able to broadcast normally. And the moment you go to a commercial break or the show finishes, you feel like death again. It's very odd. It's adrenaline, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you can guess what we call it. We call it Doctor Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could call it that, but I'm I'm not hip like you. Hey, it's great to talk to you, Brian. Have a very merry Christmas. I really hope that record does really well. And um, you know, okay, so one radio station's decided not to play it. Well, there are plenty of other radio stations. So you know, fingers crossed. All the all the best with it. Thank you. God bless you, Richard. God bless, mate. Judy sends her love, by the way. Right, it's um, just after half past six. Let's have another catch up on the news headlines with uh, Emily Reese Adams. Talk radio. Half hour headlines. The health secretary says.